The hatchback that has been loved by India throughout almost a decade now is now updated and is finally revealed in Japan. The new 2017 Suzuki Swift looks completely different with lots of upgrades. Starting from the exteriors, as said in the previous video, the overall design has changed but it will let you know that it is the Maruti Suzuki Swift. The new Swift looks sharper and aggressive. Dimensions of the new Swift measures at 3840mm in length, 1695mm in width and 1500mm in height. It shares its platform with the Suzuki's Baleno but comparatively it is lighter and more advanced compared to it. Features like daytime running LEDs and projector headlamps will also be offered which will help it compete in the ongoing market. The side profile will again remind you of this old Swift. Other design changes include a hexagonal mesh grille with chrome accents, projector headlamps, fog lamps, diamond cut alloy rims and turn indicators integrated in ORVM. Indian spec model is likely to have around 170mm of ground clearance and with a fuel tank capacity of 37 litres. Getting into the car gives you a very spacious feel, as it has more boot space, headroom and passenger space compared to the old Swift. Features which are already seen in the Suzuki's Baleno will be added in the new Swift, including the new Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration compatibility. It also gets a new 3-spoke steering wheel with steering mounted controls, redesigned dashboard, instrument panel, revised HVAC controls, upgraded AC system, contrasting fabric stitches on the road rims and dashboard. Talking about the features which is more likely to attract the attention of all Indian consumers, as said before, it will get Apple CarPlay, Android supporting music system. On top of that, this touchscreen infotainment system will be loaded up with Bluetooth, aux and USB connectivity, voice recognition, automatic climate control and many more features identical to the features found in the Baleno and the Vitara Brezza. It is also likely to get a reverse parking camera. Under the hood, Swift will continue to house the existing engine lineup, which is a 1.2 litre K series engine producing 83 bhp and 115 nm of torque, while the diesel version pumps its power from a 1.3 litre DDIS motor that makes 74 bhp and 190 nm of torque. Transmission duties will be taken care of by a 5 speed manual and will also be available with a CVT automatic gearbox. Since the next-gen Swift is smaller and more fuel efficient, it will get a mileage of around 21 kmpl for the petrol variant and over 27 kmpl for the diesel variant. Now the most important aspect of a car, uh, which is obviously its safety aspect, not confirmed but the Japanese spec models will be equipped with a host of high-end safety and security features like 7 airbags, ABS, anti-lock braking system, EBD, electronic brake force distribution, reverse parking cameras and sensors, ESP and hill hold assist and disc brakes for all the four wheels. The tentative or the actual pricing for this car may start from INR 5.4 lakhs and the top model should be priced somewhere close to INR 8.7 lakhs. The direct competition this car will get is the Hyundai's Grand i10, Ford's Figo, Volkswagen's Polo and the Honda's Brio. That's it for today, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and this was helpful. And as always, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.